Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Cora Lust, and Ed is somewhere around here. Uh, we just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up, let you guys know what we've been doing, and that the eBay auctions will be ending in the next, I think, like hour or so. Um, we gave away, literally, when I say gave away, last week we gave away some crazy bounce mushrooms, okay? Um, just going to show you because we're going to ship it because the guy got such a good deal, he's waiting for today. What's up, Gabriel? I have something special for you, um, and I'm just pimping it out before I give it to you. But your saw, Gabriel, is going to be decaled, and then we're going to send it over to you. So we got your um, brand new Griffin saw for you, and I'm going to be pimping that out. So look for some awesome decals on it. So that way when you do your YouTube videos. Um, so this is my saw, not yours. But um, when I was testing out my graphics and whatnot, I wanted to make sure that they would stay permanent, waterproof, and there'd be no way that these things would get destroyed or deformed. So they worked out marvelously. They lasted being scrubbed with a Brillo pad and a um, sponge, and they didn't come off. So I am going to be, like I said, pimping out your very own saw, just like we do with everything. Check out this sink, guys. I mean, how many people have a fragging station with a fish tank in their sink? It looks incredible. The only thing this is missing is actually the UV light hanging over top. So that's what I want to do next. But I love it. As soon as you see a black light on there, everything glows. This table is made out of epoxy and just awesome. There's hidden little gems everywhere. And I did all this by hand, even made my own paints. And it was the first time I've ever done anything like that. Like, check it out. There's a starfish there. You got water blasting, uh, fish swimming everywhere. There's crazy stuff, look, even underneath the RO system, there's a little crab coming out over there. So, I like to make everything cool. I like to pimp everything out. It just takes time, and, you know, eventually I get there. But, Gabriel, thank you for always being a longtime supporter. You have no idea how much that means to me um, and the whole crew here. So, I don't know where I put your saw. I'm, like, looking for it. Well, oh, there it is. There it is. So, this is one of my favorite saws in the world. And this is the Griffin Diamond Bandsaw. And I don't know if you guys know, but they did break their mold several weeks ago and it was a big debacle and they couldn't make any more cast of the saw. So we had to wait until they fixed that. So finally it came in, Gabriel, um, that's just my life. Sorry for the delay. But good news is you'll be able to cut amazing frags and we will thank you when you do that. So we did switch this tank over to salt water. I've just been letting it run through, but I am gonna be putting in lionfish and eels and all kinds of crazy stuff in this tank. It's just the perfect tank for those kind of fish and they can't jump out really. So we'll see if the ghost ribbon eel can sneak out of that tank, but, but yes. So I've been loving um, this tank lately, the rock work, I finally got it under control we switched everything over. I actually even had to remove or turn off some of the lights. This thing had so much power, it was just cooking every coral in this tank. Um, we reset the lights and I didn't have time to test the PAR and it was really just too powerful. Um, so I'll do more updates on that later and I'll turn the lights back on to test the PAR for you guys. But this is gonna be like a rock of candy crushes and stuff and jawbreakers. I have one amazing candy crush right there, and I'm going to be putting some others on this rock in the near future. So, one of the things that we were discussing and talking about um, is the amazing deals we have on eBay right now. So, uh, we have those. I gave away crazy, crazy mushrooms last week for our auctions. Uh, since no one knew we were doing this and they were new to the system, it was just mayhem. So. $400 bounce mushrooms, 75 bucks. Um, so good luck on those people who are bidding today. They are over in about an hour. So I hope you guys can get a chance to get an awesome deal like that as well. Um, this is the Paludarium tank. It does have rainfall and the fogger. I put the fogger in the other day just because it's so much fun to watch, especially when it's raining. It gives it like this crazy effect. So I can't wait to play with that some more later on. But this is an awesome tank. It really is just so cool. And it has such ambiance. Um, just one of my favorites. I'm not really a freshwater guy, but for some reason, 
I love the plants in that tank and I love the fact that it has such a cool setup. So that's a custom aquariums tank as well. And we do supply people with those. If you're ever interested in a custom setup, they make outstanding tanks and they're famous for these all-in-one sump designs. So I don't know if anyone's heard of them, the seamless sumps and they're, they're always working well. So we have our mister under here, the Miss King, and that's what gives us the rainfall and pretty cool thing. So, all right, let's move back here for a second. I know the lights are not correct, but we just like to show you a little bit of what we got to offer. So a whole bunch of new corals came in. We do have some crazy acros, like the strawberry shortcakes. I think we're starting the bid at like 10 bucks. So normally you guys would spend probably about 75 or 100 bucks for something that size, um, $10. So, and these mushrooms at normally six, $700. I think we've been selling them all week long for like two fifty, three hundred dollars $300 on a lot of those candy crushes. Which I don't know how many of those are left at that deal because they were so freaking huge. They went out right away. So, I mean, you guys can just see how they're overwhelming the plugs. That's an eclectus. That's, uh, I think, one of the jawbreakers. Um, and my new favorite mushroom in the world is that dragon lady in the back, the dragon lady bounce. Insane colors and just very strange. So, these are a lot of the new frags that just came in. They're just opening up and we will have them available for you guys later on as well. But there's a really nice collection of pieces here really nice um these are like i said one of my favorites the cloves some people call them like firecrackers some people call them papayas they have all different names but they just absolutely glow and they're beginner coral soft some people may not like them if you're into sticks because they're just too easy but i think the simple corals have a lot of a lot of good luck to them so and here's our clownfish. These were all the biota clownfish that are left over from last week. Anybody who wants a pair of clownfish, feel free to message me if you um, want to pick them up. We're doing curbside um, with our shipping as well. So if somebody's local and they want to come in and just pick something up, we will do that. So we've kind of been closed during this whole debacle and we really haven't um, had many people in the store lately just because of, you know, Corona. But you know we're still here to help you guys and anybody who's placing orders during this time we just been hooking people up just to kind of show our appreciation to everybody so can't wait the rain kicks on every um, I want to say like every hour and a half or so just to kind of cycle the tank but I'll leave that open for now put out some of the mist See how this guy's doing. He's just chilling in here right now. This is our Skeletor eel. Very, very cool pattern on him. So, let me check. What was that, Gabriel? I'll have to read again. Yeah, we're hoping everyone's <laughs> healthy and the family's doing well, man. Um, it's tough. You know, we, we definitely, Liza's at the hospital, so she's got a lot to deal with there. But, yeah, I hope you're doing well and everything's okay. And everyone is staying safe. These guys are so cool. So, pretty soon I will have a pet monkey with me, a ringtail lemur. So those of you who do come in and shop with us, you'll get to meet our friend. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. So, the mother had the babies and now i got to wait for the weaning of all that stuff. And once that is once the baby is safe to leave the mother then i'll hopefully be able to bring home my new ringtail lemur so all right my mangroves always fall over in here i don't know why i think these little guys keep knocking them under <laughs> i just stirred up a bunch of water so i guess it's time to clean this tank but they keep having babies which is pretty interesting these axolotas man they're uh, busy little creatures these are the uh, babies over here but now they're like from I want to say a year ago, that's how much like they've grown. But very cool pets. Fresh water, I won't hold it against them, but they're dope. All right, Gabriel, let me see what you just said. 
Sorry guys, give me a second. I just put my hand in that water. And if anyone knows anything about duckweed, that stuff grows everywhere. Once you put it in your tank, you have to like scoop it out daily. It grows so fast. So, alrighty. Yeah, we'll put some nice photos up later on. Uh, Roman, uh, you want easy corals to keep? Anything soft without a skeleton will definitely be a lot easier for you. Low light corals, leathers, um, zoanthids, things that don't need a lot of requirements like dosing calcium and stuff like that. So if you're starting off, a mushroom is a great way to go. Um, these are really cool back here. That's one of the toadstools. It's got some really cool polyps. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And this crazy thing over here is the Dragon Soul Torch. It's hard to see it on camera, but we'll put pictures up later on so you guys can see the gold and purple in there. It's a pretty cool looking piece. It's definitely interesting. So that's one of the last Indos that came in. Who knows how long um, Indo will be shut down again. Airlines are always shutting down, so there's no real guarantee when it comes to getting things. But that is that. All right, guys, I literally just wanted to do a quick update because I know those eBay auctions are ending. What's up, Joe? I haven't seen you, man. What's the price of that shortcake? Let me see. Well, if you want the shortcake, Joe, and you can come by and pick it up today, um, I'll sell it outright for 40 bucks. But we were going to auction it for um, starting at 10. But if you want to buy it, I will put it aside for you. Um, and that's a big piece. That's actually a really nice uh, shortcake right there. It's got probably, I would say, about five branches already. Is Joe in the chat? Yep, yep. Oh, yeah? Hey, yeah, Joe. Joe, are you working during this debacle? Um, hopefully you're busy and you're continuing to be working. But if not, dude, give me a call. You can stop by and help us frag some corals. We'll have a good time. We're going to be making up some new rockscapes and seeing who can come up with the best rockscape idea. So that's always fun. You said, yo, Ed. <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> uh, so, where is the auction on eBay? Yes, it is on eBay. Yeah, so we'll be posting those. But the ones for today are ending in like an hour. So that's yeah, it. but we will be posting new ones either tonight or if not tomorrow. Yeah, I, I love the fish actually. There's not many corals in here right now, but the movement of all the fish makes this really peaceful. And I've been testing out the MP40s versus the new Red Sea, um, I want to say Reef Waves at 45s. And I want to give everyone my opinion on these MP40s because it's so funny, right? This tank here identical there's a peninsula both identical right but this one here is radion ecotech products and the one over there is like red sea products so we'll see we'll see how everything does even though i keep pushing all the softies over here so it's not a complete total fair comparison but the mp40s versus these i know exactly what i like better and i'll tell you why i like them better um just not now i'll do that in another video but it's only been like two weeks I think I've used them so far. But an MP40, there's a reason why they cost so much. They're awesome. I really like the Ecotex. Yeah, they're an awesome pump. So. And if, anytime I walk by this tank, if I don't feed these guys, they get so mad at me. Um, that trigger will definitely show his attitude yeah, off. He bites. He bit Dan the other day. Yep. There he is right now. He's like, hey. You're on camera, I want to be a part of it. Um, you can hear his jaws clamping down too when you feed him. You guys should see the one at Dan's house that I, that I gave to him. It's like twice that size, right Dan? All right, cool Joe. If you want that shortcake, I'll definitely hold it for you. Um, I'll tell Ed not to list it yet on eBay. All right, sounds good. <laughs> but yeah, so these Nigers are normally reef safe and they're awesome with some you know, exceptions. Like they always go after your shrimp they're um, notorious for that so if there was cleaner shrimp in this tank they're eaten um, he doesn't tend to bother the corals but he's just your crabs and stuff he's just yep. destructive that way yeah i think he, he might have contributed to to killing a brittle star right then oh yeah yeah this guy like i said if food lands near you he's taking a chunk out of your arm 
he doesn't even know the difference. So there's been several times where I've fed him and he's been... I'll stop by at... 5.30? All right, awesome. Joe. We'll let you um, help him out, Ed. Yep. And then I'm going to sign off here in a second, guys. Just wanted, like I said, do one more farewell. we got to take care of a customer right now. But I just wanted to show you. Check the eBay page. Look at some of those auctions that are going out, especially if you're local. I'm doing free shipping to people who are in Pennsylvania. Um, and I think anywhere in the tri-state area is like $8 shipping. So if you're in like Delaware, New York, Maryland, Jersey, I mean, we got a bunch of cheap shipping, even like I think Virginia is really cheap for us. So if you're looking for corals or any products, we can box them up for you guys and um, send them out. But yeah, very cool. And this thing over here is insane. Of course, you gotta clean the glass right there, but I love this blue more frog spawn. That color is just intense. So, <laughs> all right, Gabriel, Joe, if you guys are still watching, um, like I said, check back later on this evening. I am going to finish a couple more things, but I will be posting pictures later on and just wanted to share those last minute deals with you guys. So, all right, Gabriel, yeah, you, do you want me to show you the stickers for your, your um, saw or do you want me to keep a surprise, Gabriel? Because we're going to iron those on later on. We actually have to press them on with heat just so that they don't come off. And it's pretty interesting. But, uh, but yeah, we'll pimp that out for you. Nice, Joe. All right, well, I'll be here too, making sure we take care of you. I think we got everything else. I think that's a wrap. <laughs> awesome, Gabriel. That'll be very cool if you do an unboxing of the saw. So I can't wait to see what corals you cut first and see what you do with it. But that saw is incredible. It's one of the best uh, pieces of equipment that you could possibly own for cutting corals. And I actually have some new frag plugs, some new frag racks, a bunch of new things that will be coming together in the next week. So if you saw the other video, what's up guys? With um, clam dog frag plugs. Me and Ed made some funny, funny frag racks called the Clam Dog. And it's designed to hold expensive corals and mushrooms. So it's a clam, and the frag plug sits inside the clam. And that way, the shell of the clam acts as a protection or protective barrier. Because I just cut these mushrooms. And if you guys know about trying to get some mushrooms to attach to the corals and stuff, it can be a little tough. Yeah. But, I'll do it for 25 bucks. Uh, Ed changed the lights now, so I can't show you. Oh, sorry, Ed. No, that's right, Ed. But, um, but yeah, so the mushrooms we just cut, some of them detached on the sides. So they need to sit in a little box of gravel or your rock, some rubble, so that they can attach. Um, and one of the things I liked using is this stuff here, Seachem Reactor. It's perfect for attaching your mushrooms, but you need to keep flow on them. So if you've got a box and there's no flow getting into your mushrooms, they're gonna melt away. Um, so it's very important that you have flow going through there. So that's something we'll be working on later on this evening. And I do keep a 3D printer, guys, under my desk. So I'm always printing stuff. Of course, we try to keep it up to temperature. I'm still using ABS plastic. And <laughs> I have a little heat curtain here. And this is my printer under the desk. So if you come in and you ask for something, I will custom make you all kinds of stuff just based on, you know, whatever I'm doing that day. Um, and those of you in the past, I think I've showed you, like, here's something crazy. This is just a one-inch drain. This is a protector for seaweed and things, just kind of snails from getting in your overflow. But I'll make you pretty much whatever. Um, and this thing is incredibly strong. I can't believe it. Um, and that's actually made out of PLA. So this is a, a plant organic plastic. The only problem with the organic plastic is that it is UV degradable. So when you have high powered fish tank lights over time, this isn't a good plastic to use. But that's just a lot of information for you guys. <laughs> Random flow generators. Yes, Joe, I made some really awesome ones. Um, I just haven't modified them. Somebody posted online some free random flow generator STL coding. Uh, files and stuff so I could just print them, but 
they are incredible. They are free and anyone with a printer can download them and use them. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, Red Sea gives you this little nozzle and I absolutely hate it for several reasons because I can't turn it past the mark where I want to flow. I only have like a maybe 30 degree angle to play with, um, which is why I always tell people when you're setting up your rock work, make sure that your flow and your rock work kind of match because you're gonna end up with dead spots that are gonna kill your corals. And we noticed that right away just from switching from the other flow to these reef lines, reef waves, um, in the beginning they weren't synced properly and then we were getting terrible dead spots. So like right here, any coral that was sitting right here was just like dying because no water flow was getting to it. So it's pretty interesting when you watch your tank and you see what goes on. Yeah, I mean, Gabriel, can you imagine if they were making tanks that had closed loop systems? Like I get so mad at these people because they make what's affordable manufacturing wise. They don't want to invest in making complicated bulkheads, even though it would be awesome to have bulkheads like in the bottom in a closed loop system to kind of increase flow. Um, and it's very easy to do through the manufacturer. It just increases shipping um, casualties because nine times out of 10, you're more likely to break something during shipment. So the less moving parts, the less chance you have of uh, shipping claims. So honestly, it's just the way the world works at this moment. But I'm sure later on, somebody will invent something that has a closed loop system built into their tank, which will be pretty awesome. Yeah, they just give you the basic tank. I'm hoping someday after this debacle, I'll be able to open up my um, machine shop and start building the custom systems that I really want to. It's just really been come down to the money. Uh, opening the store was an insane investment and I learned a heck of a lot doing it. And I wasn't really a businessman when I started this. I am an engineer and I can do anything when it comes to building something, but running a business is a whole different animal. And usually the guy who's good at building is not the guy good at running the business. So that's one reason why Eliza is here in my back pocket and she makes sure I don't make the bad decisions that could kill us. But I was not expecting to have a debacle, end of the world, um, virus spread through you know all of the country. So that kind of hurt shipping and the delays are insane. So now that we have the minimums for you know ordering and with the delays, it's just made things even harder for customer fulfillment. So we are doing our best to make sure everybody gets exactly what they need. It's just they cut two of our orders this week just because of not enough deliveries to make it worth shipping. So we do apologize for those of you who ordered stuff and you didn't get them um, this week. So, but yeah, that's that. Um, I'm about to run out here and do some other stuff. But here's our insanely cool table. Um, this is just the Coralust, I guess the YouTube table. It's the ship. We take it to shows with us sometimes, but this was just something fun we made, and I, I love it. It's the dolphins breaking through the ice on the ship, and it's awesome, awesome. So, the only thing this thing needs better is a big fish tank in there. So, that would make it even better if that was a fish tank. But any questions for you guys? Anyone have anything? Feel free to ask me. Let's see if I can get my camera to work one more time. Nope. I think my battery's dying on my gimbal. Whew. Let's see who's out to play. Oh, that's frosty. All right, I'm gonna sign off. If anyone doesn't have any questions or anybody's interested in anything at this moment, feel free to. Can you feed something before you go? Hmm. Oh, Gabriel, I wish I was at my house. The sharks, I've been feeding them lately and they're going insane. The lionfish, absolutely insane to feed. Let me see who's in a good mood to eat today. You know what I'll do? Actually, you're right, Gabriel, I got some good. I'm gonna grab out the LRS, the reef frenzy, and feed this trigger. Because if I don't do that before I leave, I think he's gonna jump out the tank and follow me. So, let me do that for you guys. And we're also trying to feed the corals more and, and show you the food that we feed just because it really makes a difference. Um, I love it. 
You know, damsels are jerks, but if you add a bunch of damsels together, they stay really friendly. So, <laughs> can't walk by this thing without, without looking at that tank. So. So you wanted that We keep a full lineup of food, pretty much everything you can eat to feed all your fish and all your corals. Um, one of the things that I'm absolutely obsessed with is the LRS Fish Frenzy. It's so meaty, so chunky. It's great for those of you who have um, some bigger fish. Now, we also have for the corals and other stuff. Oh, here's chunky. There it is. That's a good one. I'll take that for the eels home tonight. Yeah. Um, and where's the other one? I got some other ones here. We don't have enough room in the freezer for all these foods. And if anyone watching this, if you can buy and buy a coral today, um, I'll throw you in a free free thing of LRS. So here's the herbivore frenzy as well. So they have a little bit of everything for every type of uh, tank, every type of fish you have. So that's pretty awesome. But we'll just take this over there for now. I'll break off a nice little piece and feed this guy. Let's see if I can set this up. Where's this go? Da -da -da. Oops, wrong button. Nope, wrong button. Can we see now? Oh, he's like, where are you standing at? <laughs> All right, I'm just playing with my camera. I should move this thing, but. All right, so do you re recommend turning off the pumps to feed? I, I do, Gabriel. I mean, especially if you have a small tank, um, definitely save your money. Turn your pumps off. That way you don't have to change your socks as much. Uh, we do so much maintenance here. We do so much r water changes, so many, um, you know, so it's not as big deal for us. But for your average person, I would probably do it. Uh, yeah. Ow, dude, chill, man. That trigger just bit me again. Look at him taking chunks out. This is frozen solid, okay? This is ice cubes here. And that guy is um, just dismantling it. Oh, whoops, sorry guys. And the camera is. <laughs> I forgot to turn it up a little high. You missed out on it. So the trigger bit my finger. Yep. His teeth are sharp enough to break through that. I touched the frozen fish food, so I'm trying to <laughs> trying to figure this out. Okay, he won't even wait for me to put it in the water before he comes up and tries to attack it. It almost feels like you got a um, fish on the end of a hook. He's that strong. So we will be catching this trigger and removing him from this tank just so I can put shrimp back in here. One of my favorite things about the softies and the corals and the mixed reef was all the shrimp climbing all over. But he just dismantled them. So I will be so happy to move him into the other tank. But And people who keep trigger fish without rocks in their tank, man, their teeth keep growing forever. So they need to chew on something like shells, crabs, whatever, mussels, clams, just to keep their teeth filed down. Um, but yeah. It is fun watching them feed. I absolutely just love it. I could sit here forever and just hang out with these guys. Um, that's one reason why I love the lionfish and the puffer so much. They're just like little puppy dogs. A lot of fun to watch them feed. So, for a little bit more. Problem is, <laughs> if I don't take my hand out the tank, I end up with chunks of my fingers missing. So, I was looking through the camera the other day and the shark was running up in the eel and I'm like, I pulled my finger out just in time to not get bitten, um, but I'm sure it's going to happen. I'm a little curious to see how much damage the eel would do if he bit me. He is about three feet, maybe four feet on a good day. <laughs> now, I normally I'll thaw in a cup and use a turkey baster, but I'm just in a hurry. 
So I'm just dumping this all in here so they can go crazy. But Yeah, I know, Gabriel. I have to set the tripod up um, every time I feed them. I took some video last night, and like I said, the eel will come out the water, stick his head over the tank to look in the bucket just to, while I'm feeding the other fish. So they can see out of the tank, and they can see their friends next door. So it's pretty funny. Um, my fish are always looking through the tank of the other fish. So if I feed the one tank before I feed the other, they get absolutely mad. So, all righty. Yeah, this will be the next prize. Um, it was cool with fresh water for a while, but in reality, I just couldn't take it. It, need, it needs salt water. Let's see. And these are the Burmese archer fish. So these guys as well are pretty tough. Um, they're known for spitting at the leaves of the plants to knock over uh, the insects that are crawling on the plants. So the archer fish will spit water droplets up knock off the insects, then when they fall in the water, they'll eat them. So, very cool. I love that tank, the jungle paludarium. It's just, it's the rainforest going crazy. I'm gonna have to prune the plants. They're completely out of control. Um, and I don't even know what's left in here anymore, what's alive, what's not. Um, we kind of just let that jungle thing. Do you put bugs in there? Uh, we used to, I used to have put crickets in there. But I haven't done it in a while. Let's see if this guy eats. He's been going crazy. This is the um, predator, or no, wait, what did I call him? Skeletor eel. So I'll put some food next to him. But he seems to be acting really weird. Whoops. So All right, hey guys, I'm back. Hope he's okay. How's he's the eel doing? He awesome. seems to be doing better, but he's not really eating in front of me. He's kind of just like chilling, so. Yeah, guys, five minutes left on that Ultra Christmas Frost Bounce Mushroom on eBay. It's only at 80 bucks, so guys, hop on there right now if you want to bid, like ASAP. Did you say five minutes are left? Five minutes are left, and it's only at 80. So if you guys want to do it, quickly open up a tab on whatever you got and do it now, because you're not going to get another deal like that. Yep, a $400 bounce for 80 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Um, insanity, guys. <laughs> Oh man, and I'm supposed to bring in moon jellyfish. Um, that'll be something, um, you guys ever see the jellyfish art tanks? I'm gonna be bringing some of those jellyfish art tanks in with the moon jellyfish. They're pretty cool. I've always been a big fan of jellyfish and I cannot wait to get those in here. So, all right, I think I'm done. I said that like a while ago. Um, I gotta check my messages probably, there's people calling me. We have the door locked right now and it's really one customer at a time. We really don't have anyone coming in the store just because like i said the whole world's on lockdown right now um as long as fedex and ups keep shipping you know that's the only thing really keeping us going right now um we're not doing any real service house calls um no new customers really that we've been dealing with just because like i said everything everything in right now is on hiatus so we figure out what's going on even indo shut down yep so i'm so sad to hear that because we just got an indo dragon soul torch yeah yeah gabriel we have an indo dragon soul torch with like three heads for 399 um oh ed you changed the lights now we can see it um i may have to grab the filter yeah. this is gold i mean that, it's that's gold and green and oh gold. man Here, we need a filter it's it's pretty intense that's ridiculous and we got a Wilsoni, a rainbow yeah, Wilsoni. Rainbow Wilsoni. So that's unbelievable. Yep. Got a bunch of cool beginner frags, pipe organs, hammers, uh, A cans. Those clothes are amazing. Cloves, yeah. yeah. I love this one over here. That that's a, a cool nice, one. nice piece. So, like I said, it doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it's one all of the, blue right here, but. One of these days I'll figure out how to do the live stream on the computer instead of using my cell phone. Um, it's honestly one of those things I haven't done yet, but. But yeah, that's it, guys. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see my um, monkey. This is my baby monkey right now until the real one gets here. So we're going to need a cool name for our lemur, our ringtail lemur. But this is the monkey. He's already wearing a, cor a Corla shirt. So I'm excited. But <laughs> yeah, Gabriel, trust me. If you see that torch in person, you'll be drooling. It is incredible. It's incredible. So 
it's been a long, long year setting up this business, setting up this store, and we just hope we make it through, like I said, this uh, debacle. Yep, this uh, confusing time in humanity. Yep, we were not expecting this, and the first year of business, this is definitely um, gonna keep us on our toes. So any business that we can do for you guys, anything we can do to help you out, if you're looking for a light or you're looking for something, we'll make it work for you guys best we can just to kind of... We're here for you guys, um, despite what some trolls might say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely want to take care of you, man. We're a family-owned business. Um, we love everyone pretty much, you know, best we can. And we're here curious just as everyone else. So we're going to start using our YouTube channel just as a way to communicate. So feel free to message us. We do this for you guys, honestly. Um, if you don't ask questions or you don't respond, I have no reason really to keep going. Um, yeah, Gabriel must have heard that comment about the trolls. <laughs> yeah, we did get a new troll, Gabriel, the other day. And I basically had to tell him, I said, I do not negotiate with terrorists. I was like, you cannot use your troll mentality to try to get stuff for free. Um, but it is something we got to be careful for. There's a whole list of customers that use fake names, fake addresses, just to try to get free coral. Um, you know, nuts. It's, it's absolutely insanity. But I guess, you know, when you're off work, you got to find things to do with your spare time. So we're going to choose to share it with you guys um, in a positive way. So if you have some cool, a talent, a hobby, a kick ass fish tank that you set up that you're proud about, um, you can send me some footage on Dropbox and I'll do a YouTube video and we'll do a little collaboration. So if you're home and you're bored and you want to do something interesting, feel free to reach out to me and I will take care of you. We'll make it fun. And we'll just, like I said, enjoy this time. If you're off work and have nothing better to do, then share it with us and we'll just keep finding better ways to make this hobby excellent. If you need something 3D printed and you got an idea, you know, like I said, share it with me. I'll make you one. And we got the clam dog frag racks coming out and we got the starfish frag racks coming out so i'm super excited and i got a couple products that i'm going to be releasing this year and it's just all all so exciting but up in the air at this Ooh, moment somebody who was watching our live i think got it for 81 right but oh it just ended guy, yeah wow yeah so i hope that was um, one of you guys bounce watching house, bounce house reef if you are watching thank you so much man you just won a bounce for 81 bucks nice yeah so ed's watching the ebay he's taking care of that for us He's been absolutely incredible just being an unbelievably person. Just like I said, just helping update everything. So I'm sure he's getting overwhelmed right now trying to manage the Facebook and all the inventory. But It's all right. Yeah, you never know who you're talking to. It could be me. It could be Ed. It could be Liza. It could be somebody else. You just, you know, always ask. <laughs> so, all righty. I think, I think we're good. I think we, we did it. I'm going to try to get some lunch. Uh, we'll probably be packing up all these crazy, crazy deals that went out today. Um, that Sunkiss bounce, that's like two and a half inches with over a hundred bubbles. Guy yeah. got it for seventy-five bucks. Yeah. Um, so yep, yep. <laughs> oh man, Jeremy, I know you're working hard, man. And you're not checking it out, but look, there's that Zebro Playco. There's some crazy Playcos hidden in this tank, and I'm so afraid to clean it because I don't want to kill any of them. Um, but there's like some awesome, awesome Placos hidden in here and baby shrimp and everything else. So this tank is out of control, but I love it. <laughs> All right, Gabriel, you take care. Um, the next video you see me posting will be probably packing up this beauty for you. Um, and then maybe we'll just do wait for the unboxing for you to see what it looks like. So that way you'll be surprised. Um, but yeah, as our number one Patreon supporter, I mean, Gabriel's just been there from us from the beginning, so we try to take care of him. And yeah, can't, can't wait to see that in your possession. But all right, guys, thanks again for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time. Later, guys.